This is the fifth and final set of notes on the carbon compounds unit molecules of cells. This one is about nucleic acids. There are two main types of nucleic acids, DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA, ribonucleic acid. DNA makes up the genes that are found on the chromosomes in your cells. And the main job that genes have is to program the amino acid sequences that make up proteins. We learned in the last part that the proteins uh, structure and function is determined by the sequence of amino acids in the first order of, of, of structure, and this is programmed by the DNA. The RNA takes the coded instructions from the DNA and uses it to make the proteins. The, there, there are two processes involved to this. One's called transcription, which is copying the DNA sequence, and the other is translation, which is changing the DNA or RNA sequence into the protein. The flow of genetic information in the building of proteins goes like this, from the gene in the DNA through transcription to the RNA, both of which are nucleic acids, and then through translation into the protein. So we're going from the language of the DNA nucleotides to, to the RNA nucleotides, and then finally through translation to the different language of the amino acids in the protein. Nucleic acids are made of monomers called nucleotides. A nucleotide is made of three parts. A five carbon sugar that is either deoxyribose or ribose, depending on whether it's DNA or RNA, a phosphate, and a nitrogen base. There are four nitrogen bases in DNA, which are adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, and four in RNA, which is adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. The monomers, the nucleotides, are combined by dehydration between the sugar of one nucleotide and the phosphate of another. This is what a nucleotide looks like. You can see the phosphate group here, the sugar, and the nitrogen base. This particular one shown here is adenine. The sugars and phosphates are linked together in a sugar phosphate backbone of the molecule. So the sugars are the blue structure shown here in the diagram and the phosphates or the little orange rectangles. That's the sugar phosphate backbone. The nitrogen bases are attached to the sugars. They're not part of the backbone. Um, they make up the rungs of the ladder. The RNA is a single strand of nucleotides, whereas DNA is a double strand of nucleotides. And you've seen the familiar double helix shape, the twisted ladder shape, that is characteristic of DNA. The double, this is called double helix and it forms because there are nitrogen bond, uh, hydrogen bonds that um, pair up or uh, form between the complementary base pairs. Adenine always pairs with thymine. Guanine always pairs with cytosine. This is the big important key to making identical copies of the DNA during cell division. Now we'll learn a whole lot more about DNA in a later unit where we actually concentrate on the structure and function of DNA and the transcription and translation processes. For this unit, that's all we have is just an introduction to the concept of the nucleic acids.